you guys can wish me. <laughs> cake? Uh, do we have a cake? We don't have a cake. I'm supposed to lose weight. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, we can start with uh, Q&A if you have questions. Chick, 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 chick. What are you ready? Look, I can't exactly tell you that these are the things that we have to keep in our mind when we are ready for any character. The bottom line is that in your head, you have to think that you have the authority to, you know, to play that character. So, all the things we have to do, that research, talking to the director, is a lot of... We exactly know when we are doing research that we don't want to do what we do. We have to do what we do, so we make a film. So, we have explored it. We have attempted to make this film and you guys have seen the trailer and I hope that you have liked it. And with a lot of effort and a lot of effort, we have made this film. And I am very sure that you all will be very good. This film will be very good. Sushant, what is the most important memory of Kolkata? And which food do you like the most of Kolkata? I like a lot of food. I am a big food. So, Mishti, Dahi. And Dibakar and I were going to shoot some films for 6 months ago in Calcutta. And they told me all the things that are very related to Kolkata. Calcutta is connected to Calcutta. So, there was a food that was very important. So, there are six course meals in which you can't jump straight on the sixth meal. So, that's all the things I've eaten. And Mishri Dahi and all the mithais and all the match bhat and everything. I seriously love them. And Kolkata, what's your first memory of Kolkata? My first memory, I would say, is that it was very unfortunate that I was more than Kolkata before this film. But we have worked hard during this film during the research. When I and Dibakar and the whole team went to Calcutta. And we worked a lot and Dibakar told me all the things and told me a lot. I stayed there for like quite a few days. And I did my homework. So now I feel like I'm a Bengali. Sushant, RJ Alok here from AFM Center. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. We talked about it today in a tweet. Yes, we did it in a morning show. Thank you so much. The question is, what was the second world war in this film? If you want to tell us about it. The second world war. I have done my homework for the first world war. So, I have to call my director for the second world war. Can we please have Mr. Dibbhaji? Look, Bomkesh is a detective story. Now, without a detective, you can't live without a detective. Where you don't have a crime, you won't go to the detective. Now, what happened in the Second World War? What happened in Calcutta? That the nature of Calcutta has changed the nature of crime. For the Second World War, Calcutta was on the world history stage. Burma was trying to get entry into Japan and India. There were air raids and bombs in the city. Also, there was a ring fell in the city of the city of Japanese spies. The English and the Indians who were with the English were trying to stop it. Also, the fight of our freedom was also burning in the city. And in Calcutta, because it was a port city, the nature of crime started changing. The nature of crime started changing. The nature of crime started changing. The docks, the dockyard gangs, the narcotic gangs, the underworld, it started evolving into a new kind of crime. And in this story, we look at the fact that the fact of Calcutta is standing on the fact of the fact of the fact of the fact of the fact and the fact of 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 the fact. So, for the second world war, 
कलकत्ता का नेचर चेंज हुआ कलकत्ता का शहर चेंज हुआ कलकत्ता की इकोनॉमी चेंज हुई कलकत्ता का क्राइम चेंज हुआ और एक नए तरह का डिटेक्टिव आया जिसका नाम था बोमकेश बख्शी इसलिए इसका जोड़ है It's totally inspired and based on and adapted from the works of Sharad Indu Banerjee. But koi bhi kahani when it starts as a literary piece and transits into a cinematic piece, from you know the page to the film, there is a necessary change. There is a necessary evolution it needs to go through. It's gone through that, and uh, that's what it has. That's how it has changed. But the source is Sharad Indu Banerjee. Hi Sushant, this is Urvi here. Yeah. Hi. First of all, wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, Sushant, uh, were you ever skeptical to play this character since it has a very different kind of a look, and you had to experiment with your look itself? No, it's just not uh, of look. Uh, there are many things that you think of as an actor when you um, say yes to a film, and the first thing that I look to is uh, whether it's challenging for me, and that's the only reason why I sign a film. Because, uh, as I said just now, um, having so many conversations with Mr. Dubakar Banerjee, I got to know that this film is not about these many things. So what is it about is why he was making a film and why I was fascinated for this film. And that's why I did this. So that's what, that, that was a challenge and uh, that's precisely the reason why I did this film. And hopefully, I, um, I mean like, during the process, I did my research, I gave it my best. And I felt the character. I thought that I have this authority to play Bomkesh on screen. And hopefully it translates to uh, what uh, audience see it and uh, what they feel about the film. Thank you. I would like to compliment on to that, that we both of us realize that we are taking... <coughs> uh, Bollywood has a tradition of representing young men in a certain way. And this kind of flies in the face of all of that. <clears throat> and perhaps the coolness of this guy is the fact that he's completely ordinary. He does not, he's not a fashion plate. He's not even contemporary. He's from 1943, which we think is some Bab Dadon ka zamana. Lekin hamare Bab aur hamare Dada bhi kabhi jawaan the. Aur unka bhi dil dhadakta tha, wo bhi pyaar karte the, wo bhi adventure karte the, wo bhi mara mari karte the, wo bhi galia dete the. वो भी लव लेटर्स लिखते थे उसमें कोई तब्दीली नहीं हुई है सो आई थिंक वी टुक ह्यूज कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क एंड पुश्ड ब्योमकेश लुक एंड स्टाइलिंग टू समथिंग दैट द इंडियन हिंदी फिल्म ऑडियंस हेज नेवर सीन बिफोर एट द सेम टाइम इफ यू सी द ट्रेलर द टोन एंड स्टाइल ऑफ द टोन एंड फील ऑफ द फिल्म द मूड ऑफ द फिल्म इज कंप्लीटली कंटेम्प्रेरी so that's how we are trying to go for it and i really hope it catches on because uh ek hi tarah ke representation bar bar sare hero ek dusre ke clones lagne chalu ho jate hain usse kya hota hai ke variety nahi hoti aur hum khud naye naye tarah ki kahaniyan naye naye tarah ke looks ke sath experiment nahi kar sakte to dekhte hain kya hota hai